batter up welcome to another episode of muggle with a mic hello hello katie here and i'm joined uh by phil hey phil yep. what's up hi uh not much how are you it's been a couple of weeks since it we've hasn't. talked so how are things with you i'm getting good. ready for baseball season are we can you tell or is uh, that pi pi pirates pirates of penzance <laughs> well <laughs> It could be whatever you want it to be. It's meant to be baseball, but it can be from Pen Penzance. Um, no, yes. Uh, this is our baseball themed episode. So I'm wearing as much pirate Pittsburgh Pirates attire as I can have. I've even got hats in the background. I've got a little PNC Park replica because I am a Pirates fan. Win, lose or suck. We don't give a duck. <laughs> I, uh, I should have worn my Quidditch jersey um shut up i don't i don't have any baseball jerseys anymore so who do you root for phil oh cincinnati reds okay okay yeah. now you guys we on um, pirates have sucked for a long time since i was born we made in night i think it was 90 91 and 92 we made it into the playoffs since then i mean we were division champions but since then meh um but the reds have been fairly good but they really suck this year don't they uh yeah have you uh have you been to any pirates games have you been oh yes oh, i mean i figured you have but oh yes i love uh pnc park is like a home away from home and then before that three river stadium i went to the last series mm -hmm. that they played in three river stadium so the one of the last three games i went and saw many many moons ago i went and saw uh the red stadium and i saw they were playing a pirate so yeah who won yeah i think it was cincinnati reds uh, i believe poodle that's well, probably been 10 years ago so hey let me i'll tell you what let's get this out of the way because i'm thirsty show me your mug you got you got a mug yes i do and i was okay. just about to transition i have a whole baseball themed snack area here for me oh goodness okay. so i have a bowl of peanuts which right. will be really great for the sound <laughs> oh. for the episode. I'll try to, let me crack a bunch of them. Sorry, not cracking them later and I can eat them. Um, and then also for my beverage, what do you have to have with peanuts at a ballpark? Uh, beer. So I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have an iron city beer, which is what they serve at the at PNC park, but I do have the, closest thing is rolling rock which is from pennsylvania and i have a mug that i got when i went to one of the uh I th i'm guessing this was at a three rivers game because this is very old um but it's a you freeze it and it keeps your beer cold so it's got the pirates logo on it so here's some more sound for the audio listeners there you go and i'm pouring it can you hear it Ooh. I see. You should be a Foley artist. <laughs> there you go. So I've got all my baseball snacks. What's what's your mug today, Phil? Well, I have um, my stubborn wiener dog mug. He's wearing uh, headphones. It says, uh, I hear you. I'm just not listening. I'm just not listening. And my drink of choice at the ball game is uh, I have Coca-Cola. So... Coke, I have Coke. a nice cold instead of coffee, which is my normal in my mug. I have Coke. So. There's nothing like a nice crisp Coca-Cola. Right. And a hot dog. That's that's what I eat at a baseball game when I go. I get a nice hot dog and a Coke. And you know what? Go to the ballpark is fun because <clears throat> there are moments of excitement and then moments of leisure. You're just sitting yeah. there. <laughs> um zane gray played um himself all these guys played themselves but zane gray was actually born in 1872 in zanesville ohio oh yeah and he it, i wonder the, i wonder if he was named after uh the town he was i didn't even i didn't even put those two things together rookie of the year this movie was made in 1993. It's rated PG-13. It has a runtime of an hour and 43 minutes, and it is now available on Disney+. Plus. The synopsis. Disney. 
When an accident miraculously gives a boy an incredibly powerful pitching arm, he becomes a major league pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. It's directed by Daniel Stern, who is, everyone knows as Marv from Home Alone. Um, and City City Slickers. I was going to say City Slickers. Um, did you know he also, I, he was the narrator of The Wonder Years. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I didn't know that. And he plays Brickma in this, so he has a dual role. He plays a character and he directs. Um, okay, so let's get into the movie. What did you think? I mean, so first off, when I watch this, I am I am 34, okay? I watched this. How old was I when this movie came out? If it was 93, I was five when this came out. So all through my childhood, I watched this movie over how did, and and how over. was your preferred method of watching it? It was a VHS or you go to the movies and see it originally? Oh no. I mean, you would have had to see it. We had the awesome thick plastic sleeve for the, for the VHS oh, tape. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. the old Disney, Disney, like VHS that were all like big plastic. Oh yeah. And you, and I love the click of it when you open it up. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I watched it over and over, and I don't think I realized how much I watched it until I just watched it now, because uh, it was like I've told I've told my family this. It was like a domino memory effect. A scene would come on, and I I would have forgotten about it until I'm watching it, and then as the scene's going on, it's like I hadn't missed a beat. I'd watched it yesterday. I guess I must, I knew every line and I haven't watched this movie in 20 plus years, probably. You get so spoiled with the technology of today. When you go back and watch an old movie like that and it's, it's showing these big, big open scenes like the ball field, it's like, wow, that's really low def. Because <laughs> yeah. you're so used to high def stuff now. It's, it's like, wow, that's really grainy. I mean, you know. <laughs> No, it, I mean, that's going to happen no matter what. Although, like yeah. we said on the last episode, the Patriot, though, has aged really well. And the Patriot was really yeah. only done several years after this. This movie. I think it was what, 2001, 2000, 2000? 2001, something like that. So this yeah. is like six or seven years difference. That makes a yeah. big difference. Um, yeah. Ruling Furter, Garden Hoser, Ravi Boozer, Rosenbagger, Runamucker, Rowan Gartner, Roland Gruder and Rosenberger. Was that who? Was that the coach, or was that um, was that Daniel Stern, or was that the coach? No, that, that, the pitching that was coach the coach, the, the coach manager, coach? the manager. Okay. Um, Star Trek dude. Okay. This was one of the funniest lines when I was a kid. I'm sorry, your door seems to be malfunctioning. I'll get housekeeping up here. And then he like pauses and just it does a really creepy smile. <laughs> And then Brinkma gets stuck in between the two doors. Do you remember this? Vaguely. Oh my gosh, vaguely, Phil. <laughs> oh, and all of these scenes are seared into my brain. <laughs> well, you've seen it a hundred times. I saw it once, so. It's true. <laughs> well, I, no, dropped, so... I, dropped, I dropped my peanuts. And I was like getting them up at that time. So. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And that's a, that's totally understandable. <laughs> no, he gets stuck in between the two hotel doors. And okay. it's like for a whole a whole evening. He's in between yeah. these, the spaces between. Well, he was always two. getting. Yeah. Well, I do remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he was always getting stuck and stuck because they locked him. <laughs> like at the final game, he got locked in the. Well, you know, it's probably because he had to be directing, so they didn't want him in every yeah. scene. He wanted to be the kid who was on a major league baseball team. <laughs> what have I done? That's what I was kind of, you know, earlier when I said the kids are kids like really into baseball. I mean, like, would this movie have the same gravity nowadays as it did back then? I mean, would kids be like, oh, that's, you know, a big dream, you know, I'd, lo I'd love to be on a major league baseball I know. I mean, I've got this hat, this gray hat right here, has two of my favorite players from the Pirates signatures that I met at the mall in Westmore, Westmoreland County Mall in Pennsylvania. I got to meet Westmore. them and I got signatures. But it's like, I think kids, kids are still interested, but I think there's a lot less, unfortunately. There's a lot more, maybe a lot more interests yeah. in this day and age. 
Yeah. I mean, look at us. We're making a podcast. I'm sure there's some kids somewhere yeah. making podcasts. I mean, I'm there's sure. kids that are getting rich off of either YouTube channels and stuff. Mm -hmm. You're right. But, are we getting rich off this pod off the YouTube channel? <laughs> Oh, okay. But if you want to help us, everyone, please go like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us and hit play. And we'll, 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 maybe we will be someday. Probably not. <laughs> I know. We're doing this for the love of the game, Phil. Yeah. Yep. There you um, go. Another reference. <laughs> we're going to keep going. That was. That and was... I had a huge crush on Henry Rowan Gardner. Yeah. Garden hoser. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Here, hold hold the baseball for me. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Ready for baseball quiz? Yeah, let's quiz it up. Okay, this is all about baseball movies. All right. Okay. Here we go. About movies. Okay. I'm gonna do the. Uh, the best baseball movie score, Rookie of the Year score right here. Question two, the 2005 movie Fever Pitch was envisioned as a fantasy where what team would end the curse of the Bambino and finally win the World Series? Sure. Would you like options? Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The yes, Pittsburgh, I would. The Pittsburgh Pirates, the Chicago Cubs, the Boston Red Sox or New York Mets? Cubs. What was it? Cubs or not? I meant uh, Giants. Are you saying the Cubs? Giants wasn't an option. Uh, <laughs> the Pirates, I was Cubs, Cubs, Red Sox, I was saying Cubs. Mets. Cubs. No, it's not the Cubs. Red Sox. I meant I meant Red Sox. <laughs> the Red Sox, but you really got Mets. that wrong. The Mets. Mets Sox. <laughs> I said Met Sox. The Met Sox. 